Hi everyone, your long-awaited Scream 6 movie review. I went to the to the movies this last weekend and saw Scream 6. Um, it's kind of weird. I saw the Scream franchise in my, you know, early 20s and so I feel like I'm kind of like late to the game but I'm kind of like you know, I'm really enjoying the franchise actually, but it, it is kind of funny because it's really hard to find really good ones that are really like, <laughs> you know, worth watching because I was really disappointed by Scream 5 actually. That was like the one I was like, okay, this is really weird. And honestly, it was because of Melissa Barrera, I believe, the lead. It just really took it out because she had such dead eyes and I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I couldn't, it was really hard for me to get through that movie, like really hard <laughs> and the writing and stuff. But anyway, Scream 6 is the sixth movie in the Scream franchise and I actually was quite impressed. It is directed by Tyler Gillette and also I believe his name is Matt Bell Bettinelli Oppelman. Um, I will say, I don't know if it's, if the other one was like a co-director or not, but like, I have noticed like they really did work with her, the lead in this case, to be better this time around, but also it kind of works because you kind of see like kind of her being like emotionless still, but like being a little bit more psychotic and the trauma happening, which is what I felt like her character was kind of demonstrating anyways, but, um... No, like, they did a really good job writing this time, and the DP, oh my gosh, like, great. Like, these shots, I mean, this was the first time I actually really felt, like, anxious and, like, anxiety-driven. They made ghost face really, like, intense, like, higher stakes, really, like, um, really aggressive and really, like, bloody and just, like, in your face. So I love what they did in that aspect. Um, I know it was set in New York and Manhattan and it thought, in my opinion, it really didn't matter if it was set in New York or not, just because it, yeah, it didn't really make a difference. Like you didn't really feel like a very big city. They actually kept it pretty, um, small or it felt small, like a lot of the scenes. So I don't really know, you know about that but it was kind of nice to see like central park and like you know subway scenes that created that really um that anxiety that i was talking about um i also have i'm sorry if i'm, if I'm all over the place but i i kind of have like random thoughts as it kind of goes on but like um i noticed that you know there were like some Pretty iconic scenes of like for the anxiety. I I love the fact that Gail was kind of faced with ghost face in this one and like you know talking on the phone with her and that kind of scene like really stood out to me. Um, they brought Kirby back, which I love seeing Hayden Panettiere, uh, which was like really nice. Um, I just creating that kind of like you know bringing new, the, the newer characters that they brought in was not that exciting for me. They, they didn't really make you feel like they were significant in a way and you didn't really care if they like died off if they did or not. Um, also, this is like a non-spoiler free, just um, FYI. Um, I also felt like, oh, Jenna Ortega did an amazing job. Like I was like, oh my gosh, so emotional, like really like owned her character. Like, I, I mean, she, did an excellent job. I loved watching her perform. Um, I also felt like it's kind of funny just being like a mixed person and like the black person that they did have, which was Mindy, which is played by Jasmine Brown. I felt like, you know, I don't know. I felt like she was like the token, like LBGTQIA plus character. That's like, I know they were in, she was in five. But it just kind of felt like there, she was just in to like give like the spiel, like the rules of like Scream that they kind of talked about in Five and she's doing that thing again and I felt like it was forced and like we've seen it and we don't have to keep on getting drilled in and like there's supposed to be a com comedic component to that. And I'm just like, as like a mixed girl myself who is in the LBGTQIA, you know, 
realm it, I just felt honestly like I was like oh my gosh they're checking a box here to me I was like oh no but I mean she did an excellent job but it just felt like she needed to be more well-rounded like not just like oh this is the gay character that's a black girl and I was just like oh no like this is so like stereotypical and like not well-rounded and it didn't feel like she even like contributed but she was like a part of the core four and so I was just kind of like I don't know what they're trying to do with this like I don't know it was a whole thing if I could do more spoilers I, I would say, share more but I was just like uh this archetype that they just decided to like put in was like kind of like weird to me and then I also felt like they had this like interesting dynamic of like I showed like this board of like all the other ghost face killers and it was just really hammering in on this fact of like I don't know like I get like what we're trying to do in Hollywood is like trying to create these diverse characters that are like you know in the limelight but it's also like showing like all these like white characters who are just like these go facing like serial killers and things like that and just like shaming them so I was like I don't know if I was the only one who felt like that but I was like oh, okay like Hollywood I mean it's, I don't know it was like it was it was such a strange thing to witness but I was like okay well we're bringing you know diversity to light here but like at the same time I was like I I don't know I was just like it's so obvious and kind of like interesting to witness it anyway um I would say that definitely Scream 6 is way better than Scream 5 I would give it a 3.5 it's very fun and you know anxiety driven I really enjoyed it I had fun I didn't go in having high expectations. I mean, when I saw like the beginning, I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. It played out, you know, I was like, okay, it was, it was good. It was way better than what I expected. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like the base I wanna give. I wanna go back into like more spoilers later. But yeah, like you should definitely give it a go. Go see it on the weekend with a friend or whatever by yourself. And let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry this is long overdue. And I'm sorry I'm not more organized. I will, as I give more reviews, have more of a system. But um, these are my main thoughts. And cheers. Have a great night. I'm partially am doing the rest of my makeup. And yeah. Enjoy your movie experiences. And... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay? All right. Bye.